Uh, hello everyone. Today I want to show you that how we can uh, generate OBG file uh, instead of STL to use it in uh, Snappy Hex Mesh for Open Form use. So uh, first we have the our geometry. Uh, first we have the our geometry install works. Uh, just uh, we need to. Uh, yeah, uh, we need to save it. We need to save it as a step file. Here, we should we need to save it as a step file. And uh, just one thing to mention: why we use the OBG instead of the why we use the OBG instead of the uh, instead of uh, instead of STL. Is that uh, OBG file has a much uh, uh, OBG has a much high precision. So if you see here, OBG file has a very high precision compared to STL. And we uh, in SolidWorks we save it as a STF file. Then we change it to OBG file, which has more uh, is more precise than the STL. And the main difference is that in STL we use uh, triangles, but in OBG it used triangles and other polygons to capture the surface mesh. So OBG is more preferable, and obviously uh, Snappy Hex Mesh can use OBG, so it is better to use the OBG. Uh, and also, just something not want to mention, it is better in the surface features dict to change the 150 to the 180 so we capture all of the faces capture all of the faces i recommend to do this also so if you go here we already save it as the 45 degree step file then we go to the space claim and open the in the space claim uh here we go and open the uh open the obg and here we open the step file it is i open all of the files it's the 45 degree obg file and as you see here i open it here so here uh, we can do lots of things for this one for example we can easily rotate that this one to the 180 degree. And we can play with the origin also, which is this one. And from here, we can put our origin here at exactly the, at the center of this one. Just a sec. Yeah, and from here, the center of the, the global coordinate. So if now we look at here, it is completed exactly at the center. So we have the this one, the step file, which is opened here. So we need to save it as OBG file. So here we go and Open, save it as OBG file in millimeters. Uh, just I write this claim. And I save it. Uh, the interesting thing is that we can't use the, this file uh, uh, this file for our purpose, the space the OBG file on the space claim. The reason is this one. Uh, the reason is that these are not uh, the the different faces are not defined as a group at the beginning. So the Snappy can't read this one. Snappy can't read this one. So if you go to the motorbike OBG, if you go to exactly the beginning, we see that all of them are defined individually at the, at the beginning, uh, and we use it. But here it is not defined like that. So. We can use the mesh lab 
from mesh lab uh, we are going to import mesh again desktop obg obg test this one and uh, from here uh, from the obg test uh, we can again export mesh as this time it is the obg and it's from the mesh lab so i will name it as a mesh lab so when i save it here i save it again then i go here and we have two files one of them is this one from the space claim which is 18 and a half megabyte and here uh this is also it is a little bit less from the mesh lab 6.71 but the good thing about this one from the mesh lab we can exactly use it as uh we can exactly use it as uh, uh as an input for the snappy x mesh so if i open the the mesh lab file uh here uh sorry this is the poly one not that one uh, the mesh lab okay i think i made a mistake let's say just do it again export mesh as oh expert motion obg okay okay now we have this one Let's open this one in the not polite the okay this one okay if we, if you see the format for this one the for the from the mesh lab is different from the what we have in the from the space claim and this version this version we can uh, use it in the snappy hex mesh the mesh lab version so uh, so it is defined the vertices and the faces i don't know exactly why we can't use it this one directly but when we import it to the mesh lab and use the mesh lab we can use it the obg file from the mesh lab also let's look at to the properties to see how many megabytes 13.7 uh, versus the, the from the space claim uh, which is 18 and a half just uh we can use this one without any problem the mesh lab one without it and this one is the not correct one so i just delete that one so just one thing to add here in the space claim when we want to export it as an obg file here in options uh i forgot to say it is better to use the medium or fine it it, it increase the the this that the quantity of the triangles or polygons which we use for the our purpose for the uh, meshing the surface so i prefer to use the fine one because it uh, gives better results yeah that's it and now you can use the the obg file from the mesh lab uh, for the snappy hex mesh just to briefly uh, from the solid work we save it as a step file then we use the step file in the space claim and change it to the obg and then we change to the open it in the mesh lab and save it again as an obg now we can use this one in our snappy hex mesh thank you very much have a very good day